35. Use the Nernst equation to explain the drop in voltage observed for some batteries as they discharge. All right, so we're only allowed to use the Nernst equation. And the Nernst equation, there's two variations. There's this uh, equation for non-standard cells. That's just the regular E cell. And then there's this equation for the E cell. That's standard, right, with this notch. Now, we're only allowed to use those two Nernst equations to explain the drop in voltage. All right, so a voltage is a V, and that we're talking about the E cell, right, because E cells are represented in volts. And they're saying that the voltage is going to drop as the batteries discharge. Now, discharge just means like, you know, a loss in charge or when they're losing power. So when the battery on your cell phone goes from 100% to 50% to 30%, that, that battery inside your cell phone is discharging. It's, you know, getting lower in, uh, we'll say, power. But now we just got to find out, well, why does the voltage lower when they're losing power? Well, let's see. It seems like we have to combine these two equations. Because what's the idea here is that as batteries discharge, they're basically going towards equilibrium. And if that's the case, the two variables that talk about equilibrium is Q and the reaction quotient, which is K. And if your reaction is getting closer to equilibrium, Q should roughly be equal to K. But now I want to see what's going on. We have to explain this drop in voltage. So that means that I have to have one equation in which I have the Q and the K in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this up and I'm going to bring this up here. And if you noticed that we basically have, this is like a two very, you know, two variable going back to like math problems a system of equations, kinda, per se, where you have a E cell value, that's standard, the standard cell potential, and then you have the standard cell potential, which is equal to this. So what I can do is I can substitute. I can take this and substitute it in for that, because that's what the E cell equals. And now I'll have the, um, the Q and the K in one equation. So if I may, E cell equals, well, what does the standard cell potential equal? It's basically, and if I just put ln of K, it's RT and F times the ln of K, that's the E cell. And then I'm just going to keep subtracting minus the other ln of q, rt ln of q, and then we have nf on the bottom, and that's the other one. If I just like highlight this, that's what this is, right? And that's what this is. All right, well now I can do some um, simplifying here. I see that for both of them, I have rt nf in both of these variables, so I can pull them out. So the E cell, would be equal to RT divided by NF. And now what is left behind? Well, it's the LN of K minus the LN of Q. Okay, we're getting there. We can basically simplify this even more, right? Remember, Going back to basic algebra, if you have like ln of A minus ln of B, this is the same as saying ln, the natural log, of A over B. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to say, okay, the E cell, that's, that's cell potential, is equal to RT divided by NF. And now I'm just going to have it as natural log of, seems like K comes first, so K's got to be on the top, divided by the Q, and close that off. 
All right, now we have one nice equation. Now we did say that the Q is equal to the K value. And what's gonna happen is if these K and Q values are the same, let's just pretend that they're one, right? One equals one. If I plug that in for my E cell, it's gonna be RT divided by NF, ln of one divided by one. Well, one divided by one is one. And the ln of one is zero. So this natural log of one is zero. And zero times all of this just gets me an E cell of zero. At the beginning, Q was not anywhere near K. But as you start discharging and you start getting lower and lower and lower, and now this is telling you the extreme, this E cell says that you have zero volts. That means that the battery is dead. So it's at complete discharge. It, it lost all of its power. The battery's dead. So in the beginning, the K values and the Q values were not anywhere near each other, but as they discharge, these need to get closer and closer and closer because at the end of the day, when they equal the same number, that's when you get a dead battery. And that basically answers the question of how we use that nurse equation to show the drop in voltage. We did the drop in the extreme case that we just completely, you know, went all the way to a dead battery, but basically your Q value where you're at is just coming very, 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 very close to K over time. And when it equals K, that means that your battery's dead. All right, what'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys are having a great day out there. Let's, let's, keep, uh, let's keep crushing those quizzes and exams. Good luck on all your tests, not only in chem, but in physics, math. And by the way, we also have those videos on the channel. So if you have an upcoming test in physics or in pre-calculus or algebra or, uh, you know, college algebra, intermediate algebra, pre-calculus, trigonometry, we got questions for you. So just go check the channel out. All right. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.